Hi everyone, so today what we're going to be looking at is an easy way to get going with the Blue Micro firmware for your own keyboard. Um, so now as you can see here on my, uh, this is my GitHub account and I've got the Blue Micro repository where I've got the, uh, the actual firmware, but I've got this Blue Micro builder here. So let's go in and open that up here. Uh, and on here, let's just go here. Now, simple instructions. So this is a template for you to create your own repository. And the way it works is you use a template, you make sure that GitHub Actions is enabled, uh, and then you go into the uh, actions and you select the workflow that is closest to what you want to do. If not, we're gonna edit it. You run the action. And then once the, uh, the action or the, the workflow is triggered, uh, it'll run through, do the compilation. Uh, and then um, depending if you have an 832 or 840 board, you'll be able to download a pre-initialized firmware or right away a UF2 file to download directly to your keyboard. So we're gonna go and have examples of each. And then to rebuild, then you just need to obviously uh, rerun the action. So let's have a look and uh, th go through this. So let's uh, use a template and I'm gonna call this uh, blue, blue micro demo. Okay, so we're gonna go create this from the template and that's gonna take a couple of seconds before it's ready. So we've gone the first step. The second step is you're gonna make sure that the GitHub Actions is enabled. So we go in settings for that uh, and go into actions and you see allow all actions is right there, which is perfect. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, instructions. So we're gonna skip the editing the workflows just to go directly to the actions and then triggering the workflow. So we're gonna go to actions and there's a few actions already available that are set. Uh, and we're gonna, there's two that we're gonna run uh, or that we're gonna initiate. So we're gonna initiate the CNC encoder pad so we're gonna go and uh, run this workflow. Uh, and then uh, we're gonna also initiate for an example for 832, we're gonna go and run this workflow as well. So I'm kind of creating two keyboards uh, in here. So we're gonna go back to the top of actions and we see that there's two that have been triggered. So let's go in, into the detail of the run of the CNC encoder pad. Uh, to see what all the steps are. So let's go in, in here. So you can see right in here, and let's just say it, it checks out the actual repository of the firmware. Then it copies the main firmware, firmware file and copies the board specific files. Then it set up the Arduino environment. So it's the CLI as well as the build tools and the board support packages. Then it'll compile the firmware. And then for the NF52840 boards, it'll create the UF2 file so that you can copy it directly to your keyboard. And then it'll archive the artifacts. Uh, so we're just gonna wait uh, until it's complete on this one. So I'll just uh, pause or we'll, we'll fast forward. Okay, so you can see it has compiled, it has created the UF2, it has archived artifacts and so on. So let's go back to the, to the actions here. And actually both have run. So let's go and see the, enc and the encoder pad first. So this is for 832 board and you can see there's an artifact here. Let's go and download here. And you can see it's downloading a zip file. Now let's go and see where that zip file ended up. It's probably, uh, oh, okay. The, the zip file is already uh, opened up uh, into here. 
So you can see this is the content of that of that artifact. Now there's a UF2 file. So I'm gonna go and extract all of this uh, onto my desktop. Uh, I'm gonna create a new folder, which is gonna, gonna rename to be CNC encoder pad. I'm gonna go okay in here. So it's gonna extract all of this. So let's close that and let's go to my desktop, CNC encoder pad. And now I got my UF2 file right here. Now I've got my CNC encoder pad right here. So I'm going to connect it. Now what I need, yeah, it wakes up. Um, now I need to do a double reset to put it in the uh, bootloader mode. So, okay, reset, reset. So now I've seen that there's that uh, file that has shown up or the folder that has shown up. Um, so let's just now copy the UF2 right here and you'll hear it's gonna copy, it might complain there we go, I'm gonna go cancel. And you've heard it, it actually has done its reset here. Uh, now it didn't do the, the whole song because that's a different firmware. But uh, now I have my uh, enco encoder pad uh, reprogrammed. So it's as simple as this for a NRF52840 keyboard. Now let's go and have a look at the example where I have a 832 keyboard. So for example, this micro pad right here is a 832 keyboard. So let's go and see what I need to do. So let's go back to the uh, my demo here. So in my repo, uh, as the jobs or as the actions ran, it also created these folders here, one for my encoder pad, but also for my tutorials, uh, my 4x4. So now what we're going to do is we're going to download this. So we're going to go download the zip. Now what you can do is do a complete clone if you're familiar with Git. But what we're going to do here is going to go and extract this again to my desktop. Okay. And it's already in the folder, so I don't need to hide it. Um, Okay, so let's go and close that and go to my desktop and go into my demo main. Now, you can see there's these two folders. One is for my 840, the other one is for my 832. So for me, all I need to do is open up this uh, INO file, which is the, uh, the firmware. Now, uh, Arduino is loading up. Uh, now let's uh, see it here. So I've got it there. Uh, and as you can see now, we're going to go and uh, so 11 is already existing. It's not connected. Now I need to go and select uh, the appropriate board into my uh, Arduino. So because I have my, my macro pad set up, I'm going to be selecting that one. And then I'm going to be connecting uh, my little keyboard here. Okay. And I'm going to see that there's a new port, COM3, that has shown up. So, and then I'm going to simply go and upload to it. And now it's compiling. Here it's compiling locally. And then it's going to do the flashing. King, now it's uploading. Okay, so now my keyboard has been flashed uh, with uh, with the firmware here. So when it's uh, it's on, and I won't use it. I won't connect it. But this is essentially the whole process, um, both on a 840 board or a 832 board, to set up your uh, firmware. Now let's go into. Uh, how do you need how if the keyboard is not set up 
uh, how do you essentially edit your workflow for a new keyboard so let me just show you through here so I'm going to go into the workflows so these are YAML files and YAML files uh, they're the uh, configuration for setting up the job so let's take an example of a split keyboard here uh, so I'm going to take the ergo travel split and you can see here we've got some parameters that are for example keyboard key map uh, the config the hardware config uh, and so on so let's see where these are coming from uh, now for keyboard only one is supported now this what goes in here is as simple as the keyboard now the keyboard is if I go in my firmware now this is a list of keyboards that I have available so uh, previously I had ergo travel so I'm gonna go and see now now this is the keyboard name now the key map the key map that I said is was a default so if I go to key maps now these are the ones that I have available and I've got default right there now the next one is the keyboard config so I've got left and right it's a split I need to have both half done so if I go to the config, I've got left and right right here. And then finally, uh, the hardware config, uh, I've got uh, a Blue Micro 840. Now this, you can actually see carefully if I go back to my hardware config. Now this is the this is what I need to have. So you see Blue Micro 840. This is what I have right here. Then the compile with. Um, now this is the options that I have here and where these come from ultimately comes from, uh, and let me go back to my Arduino here. The, these relate to the drop down that I have here in my community. So I've got uh, the nice nano, I've got the PCA10056, I've got some other blue macros. So if I go back to my, uh, so I've got the Feather 832, uh, a nice nine, nice nano, the PCA10056, Blue Macro 840, the Blue Micro 840. So these are all examples coming from the menu option. Uh, and I did not put the Feather 840 on purpose for the reason that if you're not sure which one to use, I recommend the PCA10056 because it does not remap GPIOs. Um, now to edit this, it's all as simple as, for example, uh, go into my edit here. Uh, I could rename the file. Uh, let's just take the example if I want to rename that to my corn. So. Uh, let's go to my keyboards and I want to go and rename that to acorn. Where is it? CRKBD. So I'm going to rename that here to acorn. And we're going to change that, the name of the job to the corn. Now this is the corn. Now in here, I'm going to go select uh okay we've got default which is okay then we've got in the config left and right and then in the hardware i only have uh the pc10056 but let's go and grab so i've got a blue micro as well so if i go here i've got default left right blue micro and then the pc10056 but then i could select to switch it over to the Blue Micro uh, 840. So that would be a good one. And then I'm gonna go and start to commit on that. Commit changes. Now if I go to my actions, now I do see that I've got my split here. And then if I run my workflow on this and uh, start, uh, yeah, there it is, it's going. So now it's going to be uh, initializing two, two firmwares, one to, like for the left, one for the right. And then uh, we're going to go in and uh, let it do its thing 
to compile. Okay, so it has completed the two jobs, uh, one for the left and one for the right. So let's go and see the, the artifacts. So you can see right at the bottom, there's two artifacts, one for the left, one for the right. So it's just a matter of downloading these two files, unzipping and then copying the uh, UF2 files to the left and to the right. Getting a keyboard set up is actually very easy and then you don't even have to change anything. And if you do want to make your own changes, uh, that gets you going very quickly to be able to set up a um, your own keyboard. Now all you need to do is edit uh, the key maps uh, and recompile. This is the Blue Micro Builder. A quick uh, demo example where in about um, 20 minutes or so I ran through and built four keyboards. Okay, so this is a very useful tool to uh, get you going very much faster than it was before. And if you have an 840 board, you don't even have to install anything on your own com computer. You can have all it done by GitHub Actions uh, on, on GitHub. Well, thank you very much. Hope that helps.